Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through what are the recurrent networks. Guys, so basically I didn't uh, teach about uh, network, guys, networks, what are the different types of neural networks. So I'll be providing you the notes if possible or else just go to Google and just go through some random website, guys. So there are many, many websites and many videos on YouTube. So I'll be just going through the recurrent networks, guys, because of low time, this is one of the most important topic. Okay, so now let us go through recurrent networks. So recurrent networks. So basically in a neural networks, the present output is depending on only on the present input. Like we cannot use the previous output or any kind of things like that. So that is the reason why the neural networks failed in some case of some most of the situations guys. Okay, so that is the reason why this recurrent networks came into play. So recurrent neural networks are a type of neural networks where the output of a previous step is fed as an input to the current step. So you'll be giving the output as an input to the next step in that way. Okay. So in traditional neural network, all the inputs and outputs are independent of each other. So basically in traditional, there is no relation between input and output guys. Okay. But in case like when it is required to predict the next value with the help of the previous word at that moment, the recurrent networks, sorry, at, at that moment, the previous output is really important, right? So this situation's case followed by we got the recurrent networks guys, recurrent neural networks. Fine. So thus recurrent neural networks came into existence, which solved this issue with the help of a hidden layer. So here we will be having an hidden layer guys to remove some information, sorry, to remember some information. So this hidden layer will be a hidden place where you can store information. Okay. So if we take a small example, okay, just give me a second guys. I think again, the page numbers have been shuffled. Okay. Just give me a second. Just give me a second guys. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, so I think the page series is correct only. Okay, so basically in a deeper networks or any kind of normal networks, it will be in this way. So let us assume you gave an input. So the value is A and this value will be fed to some one more input and you'll be getting the output. So here we are having multiple layers, right? So these layers are nothing but your hidden layers, guys. So here we are having one input layer, two hidden layers and one output layer. So here we use two layers because there is no need of memorizing the previous output. So here there is no need of memorizing previous output, right? So this output is given for this and this output is giving for you giving an output. Whereas if you convert this kind of networks to recurrent neural network, so it will be in this way guys input, you'll be giving an output, you will be giving connecting it directly to here only. So there is no need of writing again steps. So there is a single hidden layer with that help only you can do everything. Okay, so the functionality will be in this way guys. Okay, so output hidden layer and input. So I think after this page only this page guys, sorry for that. Okay, so output hidden layer and input. So input is given to the hidden layer and hidden layer is something like a black box. It is going to generate the output, fine. Okay, so what are the advantages? So an RNN, recurrent neural network, remembers each and every information through time. So it is going to remember because it is having a hidden layer. Hence it is called as a short term memory guys. So here there will be a short term memory in which it will be stored. Okay, so the disadvantages are training an RNA is a very difficult task guys because it's really a complex. Whenever there are many long sequence, it's really complex guys because you need to do it in a small layer. So that is the reason. So it cannot process very long sequences. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So I hope everyone got a small layer. So now you'll go through this case. So this is a small example in normal deep learning. So this when you convert it into RNA. So you'll be getting a loop like this. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be going through some important topics of this chapter, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.